Hello. So glad you could join me today. It's a beautiful day here and I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got here is a 16 by 20 stretch canvas. I was going to do a different painting today. I was going to do a desert scene. I loaded it up with a thin coat of liquid white. And We'll get started by using phthalo blue. We're going to start out with the sky in the corners using crisscross strokes. Here, here. I'm going to add a little bit more color on a two inch brush. More color. Darker, darker, darker. Crisscross strokes across the sky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna do a desert scene, like I said. We don't want to fill in the whole sky because you want to get some some of that nature look. Because in the sky, it's all kinds of textures going on. I'm going to leave it like that for now. I'm going to get another 2 inch brush. And I'm going to come in with some orange, cadmium yellow. A 2 inch brush. Since it's going to be a desert scene, I want to have it uh, that hot looking orange sky that the desert would have. So, we're going to have mountain in here. But what I want to do is create that I'm pulling up from where I think. The sun might be shining. I hope you can see this. But it's going to be a, it's a hot sun. It's a hot sun in the summertime. Add some more color. Run it right along. Pull up. We're trying to make and create that illusion of the sun shining. Maybe it comes right down, who knows. Pull it up. And in nature, the, the sky, the sun goes all the way across the horizon, just like this. So we got that going. I'm going to take a blender brush. What we're going to do is we're going to blend. Blend the, the sun in. You can hear I'm kind of scraping it in kind of hard. I want to get it all, all happening down here. Pull it up. Blend it in. Don't really know how much that's going to show. How much of the sun part since we're going to put them some mountains in that you'd see in the desert now i'm going to take some the blue blend it in bring that in down bring it down into the to the sun just doing circular motions leave some of those dark colors in the corners because we're going to put some we're going to put some clouds in what I want to do is put some clouds in I 
to wipe off, knock off some of this color. I'm going to put some clouds in that will draw some of that. Some of that color. fan brush gonna load it up with some titanium white a little bit of liquid white Load it up on both sides. Maybe in our world, we can have some clouds coming right in here. I'm going to tap it. Load it up again. Titanium white. Liquid white. A two inch brush. Maybe in our world there's another another cloud right here. More color, more white. Loading it up. Maybe right there. I'm gonna blend all this in. There's a lot of a lot of clouds happening here. As you see that we pulled up some of that blue, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and. Take the blender brush that we used, knock off some of the paint. We don't want to touch this top edge here. I'm going to use this as corner of the blender brush and we're going to blend the bottom part of the cloud. Here we can just blend it all in. A lot of things happening in here, wherever you think. All kinds of textures and all kinds of colors happening. Some light, some dark, some blue, some white. Blending it all in. All the way down. Who knows? Get some action going like that. I'm going to knock some excess off. Now we're going to take that two inch brush again. And in nature, the clouds have their own color. Especially when it's a, a hot, sunny day or the sun's going down. The clouds are going to have their own color. They're going to have the same color as the sun almost. I'm loading this up. I'm going to make some more clouds exactly the same way because that's what you see. Got some of that color going. More red. Tapping it. Because it's going to have the colors. It's going to go right across. More yellow, red, cadmium yellow. Maybe up here there's some clouds. There's some big clouds. And 
they go right across. See all the different colors? It's your world. You can make it as many or as few as you want. Maybe I'm going to put some right in here. Because in nature, there's blue, there's all kinds of colors happening in the sky. All kinds of clouds. Maybe there's some over here too. Oh, that's a big one. That's that's a cloud that's happening. Maybe one comes right across. Got all kinds of different colors. that blender brush. I'm going to clean it off. Same thing like we did with the white. Just blend the bottom. Because you want all that, all that stuff to be happening. All that colors. the top part yet. Just the bottom. Here and there and there and here. Maybe that goes right over like that. It goes right into the blue. Cleaning my brush off again. What I use is uh, odorless paint thinner also. Once you got that happening, just barely lift up. Almost like you're hardly touching it. But you'll see that we are. sharp edge is what you want. Just fluff it up because the clouds in nature when you look at them is they got that cotton look to it. Maybe it comes right down here. Who knows? We got some of those clouds going on. Step back and take a look at it. I'm going to clean my fan brush off real quick. What I want to do is put some more weight. That's what you'll do. You'll step back, you'll look at it, and you'll say, let me try something here. Let me put some more white clouds in. Just tap them in your world. And wherever you want the clouds to be is exactly where they should be. Maybe I'm going to put some over here. Put some in front. Have all kinds of stuff happening. Like it would in nature. Clean the brush off again. You can spend a whole whole lesson <laughs> on painting clouds. Blender brush again, we're gonna blend that clouds we just did. Just barely. Just to kind of blend them in.
think all kinds of things happening in this desert scene. Because in the desert, it's hot. Okay, what we got going on there is good. I'm going to take a palette knife. I'm going to load it up with some purple color. Cut a roll of it right across. And decide where we want our mountain to be in the, in the back, in the desert. This is going to be more of a purple color just because it's in a distance and that's kind of the way it looks and you'll see that in nature that some blues look purple some it's all kinds of different things that that happens when you really look at it I don't want to take away too much from this I'm gonna have the mountain start right there just take the corner of it it's a distant mountain I'm going to peek it. Just like that. Just scrape it in. Hope you can hear that. So I'm kind of scraping it in kind of hard. I'm going to clean my two inch brush off. We need it to be fairly clean when we're going to do this. This next thing where we're blending this. Take the two inch brush and pull it down. And when you're doing this you can make the Mountains as deep, as big as you want, just by how much you pull down. You're not going to see a whole lot with this because of the distance. It's way off. It's way off in the distance. Because it's in the desert. You're not going to see a whole lot of highlight on here either. at a distance. Taking a blender brush now, I'm just going to pull down. in our mountains we don't really worry about what goes on down here we get it that misty look because it looks like it's a fog or a mist at the bottom of the mountain all we really worry about is this edge here so once we got that going on I'm going to take that same purple I'm going to add a little bit of white a little bit of white to it Get a little roll of paint. And since the sun's over there, it's going to be maybe a lighter, maybe a lighter color. Just to highlight it. Not snow or nothing. We're just trying to highlight it where the sun's hitting. So I'm just adding some lighter colors. you might see just barely tapping you just want to create the il illusion and I think we did <clears throat> now we're going to take that blender brush we're going to tap down here
create a misty look. Kind of where it blends right in. And this is what you want to kind of create. Because you don't know where the mountain stops. Or where it starts. And you got the layers there. Where the sun's coming out. And then it looks further back and it looks like you got your mountains back there. Or your sky. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to mix some brown colors and some yellow, cadmium yellow, light, light brown, Van Dyke brown. So what we're going to do is We're going to make another closer mountain that you would see in the desert. Cut a little roll of paint. And maybe this mountain is off to the side here. We're going to put it up here. Right there. It's not going to be like a mountain because in the desert they're kind of choppy. They're like a more rocky, more rocky looking mountains. So that's what we're going to create. More of a straight down. What I'm going to do is get some more. I'm going to load up some more brown. More of the darker brown. Get a roll of that on the knife. Right across the edge there. We're going to come down. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. See that? And when you're closer away from the sun, of course, shadows are going to be darker. And we're going to highlight this where the sun might be hitting this. You just want to pull it down here and there and there and here. Different looks. Maybe it's darker right there. After you got that going on, we'll take that same brush that we did back there. the purples, we'll pull some of this brown color down. Maybe it goes right like that. See how you got that mist? This mountain looks like it's closer. That's just what you wanted to create. We're going to take the blender brush now and blend it like we did back there. You want to try to come up with your lay of your mountain. 
Maybe it comes straighter. And maybe this peaks more. You just pull it down. Just like that. And you can tap it down here. Give it that misty look. All over. Wherever you think. Right off. Right into the desert. Just tapping it. I'm going to knock off the excess. Now I'm going to go into the palette knife again. Pull some dark color. Get a little roll of paint. And like when we do mountains, we're just going to let it take. Pull it off. So it take what it wants and give you the rest. Just barely on an angle. Just tap, just barely touch them. Right where you might want your highlights to be. Maybe some up here. Maybe it's darker. See how that breaks? Makes it look like boulders and rocks. Maybe in here, we'll make it a little darker, since it's more in the shadows. We'll come back and, we'll come back and uh, mist, make it misty. And then over here, it's going to be lighter. Maybe right here we can have a peak coming down. Just like that. Darker here. You want those bricks to be in there? Because it makes it look like there's rocks and boulders and see how this edge here? Then it looks like this is in front of that edge behind there because the way it's sticking out. Let's grab some more color. More Van Dyke Brown. You can come right down. Put it in wherever. Just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit though. A little bit more brown. I'm going to come right in here. it might be. Just like that. Now we're going to take some lighter color. Maybe some titanium white on the on the palette knife. And maybe the colors colors from the, the sun hitting off the corner, off the corner of the mountain. All I'm doing is tapping it. And it's going to take, it's going to take what it wants and give, give you back the rest. 
maybe here and there. Just want that to zing. Just on that corner there. Maybe. Maybe it's up here too. A little bit here and there. A little bit of the corner up there could be hitting. Maybe down here. Who knows? Maybe a little bit more white and a little yellow. Highlight it a little bit. Make it pop a little bit. Just like that. Here and there. Just like that. Clean the palette knife off. Get all the excess off the blender brush. And we'll come in here and tap it again. Just kind of diffuse everything and blend it all together. Give you that misty look down there. Kind of gets the rocks going too. And you can mist it. Have the lay of the land where it looks like it's going up the hill just by how you tap. Just like that. Okay, we got the sun going. Knock, knock off the excess. We'll use that blender brush again. Now over here, we'll have some more land. We'll take the two inch brush and we're gonna fill it up with some dark color. Because we can highlight, by putting a dark color down, you can highlight it with a lighter color. And you'll see when I, let's say, we have something right here going on. Just tapping it. Right there. And when we highlight it with a darker, with a lighter color, it's going to pop. It's going to come out a lot better. It's really going to highlight. Had a malfunction there. Different, different layers, different parts that you're going to create. We'll have that back there and then we're going to bring up some green in the front. And then for that there, we're going to highlight it with some lighter colors. Cleaning my two inch brush off, the other one I got going. This one here I'm going to use with uh, lighter browns and yellows. You'll see though, just with the yellow and titanium white, 
hitting it 